What's up, the Cinema Shogun here, and Disney workers are planning walkouts to protest CEO Bob Chapek's slow response in publicly criticizing a Florida bill that bars instruction on sexual orientation or gender identity in early elementary school dubbed by critics as the Don't Say Gay Bill. But, ladies and gentlemen, this bill isn't really the Don't Say Gay Bill at all. It's been labeled that by the mainstream media and by certain politicians in order to mislead people, in order to get people all stirred up and to cause a ruckus, if you will. Now, in a prior video, I broke down what this bill actually is. But what it is, is it's a bill that bars teachers from instructing students from pre-K to third grade about sexual orientation and about gender gender identity. It doesn't bar anyone from talking about being gay. It doesn't bar anyone from saying the word gay. In fact, if a teacher still wants to come in to the classroom and come out to their students, they can. Because for some reason, it's a new fad that teachers just absolutely have to come to their elementary school students and come out the closet in the middle of class. So they could still do that. If a kid asks a question about it, they could still talk to the kid about it. It just bars it from being part of the curriculum. As in, when your child is like five years old and supposed to be learning his or her ABCs, the teacher can't be teaching them about pronouns and asking them what their sexual orientation is. And I think that's pretty reasonable. In fact, I think this bill should have went a several steps um they should have taken other steps let's just say it like that um this bill wasn't hard enough on how teachers have been acting in the classroom and it like i said it doesn't bar anyone from saying the word gay it doesn't even bar anyone from talking about gay things it just bars it from being part of the curriculum and it bars um teachers from being able to hide certain things from parents you know so no longer can teachers basically groom kids into transitioning into a different gender without first talking to the parents of said child now i think that is just a common sense bill i i don't understand why we've reached this point in society where we have to have bills like this if anything it is an anti-grooming bill it is common sense that teachers should not be talking to pre-K through third grade about their sexual orientations and not just talking to them about it, but teaching them about other sexual orientations. There's no reason why teachers in kindergarten should be teaching kids pronouns and that they can identify as animals and different random genders that were just created on TikTok the day before. There's no excuse for that. So a bunch of these Disney workers, they're getting upset and they're doing walkouts in protest of this all this week. Now they're not walking out protesting the bill in itself. They're actually protesting the slow response from the CEO of Disney. Mind you, he responded to it. He said that he didn't agree with it. He said that he was pulling certain donations away from people who agreed with the bill and what have you, but that was not enough. His apology is not enough. These people are literally protesting because he didn't respond fast enough. Because he didn't respond fast enough. And come to find out, which is what I've been telling people for years, even though Disney seems to, it seems like they promote this far left wing ideology in their movies and things of that nature. In reality, they actually donate to both political parties a lot in order to get favors in return. So yeah, while they're here preaching all of this LGBTQ plus A stuff, you know, in their movies and they're putting random trans characters in the Proud family and cartoons that little kids are supposed to watch, they're not doing the same thing in China. In fact, they actually shoot movies in China that are directly next to concentration camps where real modern day slaves are still being held. 
modern day slaves. So while they virtue signal constantly in the media over here in the US, they're not the same overseas and behind the scenes, they really donate to both political parties because they want favors back from both political parties. So when you really get into like where their money goes and how they spend their money, it's not as progressive as what they seem to be in the media because they know that they're trying to appeal to a younger Twitter social media crowd. And the younger social media crowd is all about the next big thing that they can cling on to that, that could become their identity for the month, you know, what, what, whatever movement it may be. So these Disney workers are planning walkouts during their breaks every day this week to protest CEO Bob Chapek's slow response in publicly criticizing Florida legislation that critics have dubbed as the Don't Say Gay Bill. Now, I already broke it down to you. This is not the Don't Say Gay Bill. It is not labeled the Don't Say Gay Bill. There's nothing in this bill that says Don't Say Gay. It is literally just a bill that is blocking teachers from talking to four-year-olds about their gender identity and sexual orientation when they're supposed to be learning other things. It's really simple. And at this point, half of these people, I'll admit, half of these people that are probably joining in on this protest have no idea what's in the bill. Most of these people do not even read. Half of them have no common sense. They have, they're just sheep following the leader. Oh, it's just a don't say gay bill. I have to get upset about that. And then they go protest and everything, not realizing that they look like complete idiots and they look like downright chomos out here protesting because four-year-olds can no longer be talked to about their sexual orientation in the classroom. What in the hell right does any teacher have talking to freaking kindergartners, first, second, third grade about their sexual orientation and what they like sexually? It's downright sick. So I would like to believe, listen, I would like to believe that a lot of these people are just being misled and they're not just straight up chomos. But at this point, if someone has knowledge of what this bill really is, and they're still supporting it, then you really have to question their motives there, people. And I'm sorry, but I have to be honest here. It's not a political thing at all to say that four, five, six, first grade, second grade, third grade, they should not be talked to about their gender identity and their sexual orientation in the classroom. That is completely sick and weird. And if you're someone that thinks that's cool and okay, then I don't know, maybe you just need to question yourself a little bit because you're going down a dark path, my friend, a dark path indeed. Keep the kids out of it. Keep the kids out of it. That The act of protest will culminate, will culminate next Tuesday with a general walkout by LGBTQ workers and their supporters at Disney work sites in California, Florida, and elsewhere. The group of Disney employees said this week on their website, organizers asked Disney workers to check in online with their plans to participate in the full scale walkout for next week. We must make sure we have large enough numbers to be successful, they said. Statements by Disney leadership over the Florida legislation have ultimately failed to match the magnitude of the threat to the LGBTQAI plus safety represented by this legislation. So they're saying that they feel unsafe now, that this is dangerous, this is almost like murder. And I'm not exaggerating, they have been comparing this bill to murder, as if this bill is just as bad as murdering people because teachers can no longer groom kids in the classroom. And it's just like, what in the hell? And then you have to think about this. This is happening all week long. So parents who bust their ass all year long and can somehow scrounge up the money to get enough money to take them and their family to Disney World this week, they're going to have to walk through crowds of people out there going crazy over this bill about not grooming kids. These people are going to be protesting outside of Disney World, ruining the magical experience that going to Disney World can be for kids. I would argue it's kind of hot out there. I went not too long ago, man. It is hot. 
and you gotta wait all day for the lines. It's almost not really worth it, but at the same time, it's really nostalgic for me. I don't know, everyone has their different feelings about Disney World, but it can be a very fun, magical place to be if you do it right. And especially to a kid, but now they're gonna have to walk through picket lines of protesting LGBTQA plus members who are all angry that kids can no longer be groomed in the classroom. And let's just call it what it is, folks. If these people out here protesting this, if they really do have knowledge of what this bill is, a lot of them are not the people you want around your kids. I've said it before at the beginning of this video, I'll say it again. At this point, people who've actually done their research on this bill, and it's not hard, it's not rocket science, it's not like some hard documents to find. I broke down the bill already in one of my last videos if you wanna go watch it. It's a really simple bill. And the people who are so adamantly against it and are actually knowledgeable of what the bill consists of, at this point, I have to question their motives and are they into kids? <laughs> Let's just call, are they predators themselves? A lot of these Disney employees that are walking out protesting this, are some of them predators themselves? And you know, you might be thinking, well, that's a strong statement to make. That's a strong statement to make. I mean, yeah, these people are protesting this, but that doesn't mean they're into kids and they're predators. Well, you might want to look into this story because turns out just yesterday, as these walkouts were occurring, four Disney employees were arrested in Polk County in connection to trafficking and exploiting children. Over 100 people were arrested by the Polk County Sheriff's Office during Operation March Sadness 2, a six-day undercover investigation that focused on trafficking and child predators. According to the Sheriff's Office, four Disney employees were among the 108 arrests, including a Kissimmee man who worked as a lifeguard at Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. And then there were also several other employees arrested who also worked for Disney. Three other Disney employees were arrested during the operation, including a 24-year-old Orlando man who worked at the Cosmic Restaurants. Deputies said the man worked at Disney for four years. Deputies said Xavier Jackson, 27, who worked as a lifeguard at the resort, sent sexual graphic images and descriptions of what he wanted to do to an undercover detective posing as a 14-year-old girl. So there you have it, folks. Now, I would... <clears throat> I would bet good money on it that had these four people not been arrested, they would definitely be at this walkout protest. These are four Disney employees who most definitely would have been front line and center at these Disney walkouts, protesting against child grooming. So no, it's not far-fetched to believe that some of these people working at Disney who are protesting this bill, or not even protesting the bill, but protesting the CEO's response to the bill, that maybe just maybe some of them aren't necessarily the type of people that you want around your kids. I'm just saying, folks, just yesterday these arrests were made. Now, they weren't made at the protests or anything. It's just an operation that's going on in the same town as Disney World. And just so happens, a few of Disney's employees got wrapped up in the mix. And it just so happened that this happened on the same week that a lot of these Disney employees are staging walkouts to protest an anti-grooming bill because they support teachers talking to little kids about their sexual preferences. Talking to kids about what they should like and want in the bedroom. And these kids are five, six, seven, eight, nine years old. Grooming them into being trans. Oh, hey, Billy, I noticed that you, you know, you don't really like playing football like the other kids. Maybe you, maybe you're a girl. Maybe you're a girl. You know what? In fact, 
I'll bring dresses for you to wear in the classroom and I'll call you Cindy. Just don't tell your mom about it. Things like that, as crazy and weird as that just sounded, that's actually happening every day in the classroom. Kids are being groomed every day. You send your kid to school to get basic knowledge about random shit that they're probably never going to use in their lives, but mostly you get, you send, I would argue that sending kids to public school is a good thing, not necessarily because what you learn in school, because half the things you learn in school you will never lose, loop, use in life, but it's kind of like you grow socially in school. You learn how to interact with people, and that's what I think is sometimes the most important part of going to public school or going to school around other kids. It's learning how to grow socially, learning how to handle adversity. You just learn so many things going to school that has nothing to do with what teachers are actually teaching you. But you send your school, you send your kid to school thinking that they're going to learn various things, but you come to find out that these teachers are grooming your kids into having into becoming just radical weirdos, if you will, who don't have any proper knowledge of history, who are confused about who they are now. Your kid was perfectly fine before you sent them to school, and then you sent them to school, and now they're all confused, and they don't understand what's going on. They're coming home, and you're having to have difficult conversations with them well before the age that they're supposed to. Everyone goes through puberty. Everyone grows sexually and they find their own sexual interest in their own time. Being a child is sacred. It's that it's a small portion of your life where you're not worried about sexual things. You're just innocent. You're hyper-focused on other things and, and it doesn't last long. A childhood doesn't last long. You have so many years to be worried about your gender identity and your sexual identity and orientation. You have so much time to worry about that. These few years that you get as a kid, those are sacred years and they shouldn't be tampered with. They shouldn't be messed with. They shouldn't be straight up poisoned by teachers who are really there for their own reasons. They're not there to help kids find their way in life. They're there because they're creeps and they're freaking weirdos and no one has the balls to stand up and say something about it. So if you see something like this, as something that's happening like this in your kid's school, step up and say something about it. Make the world a better place for people like me who haven't had kids yet, because I want to bring kids into this world without them having to go through all of this crazy stuff that has been going on the last few years. And you see, Yamcha agrees. But I want to know your thoughts about all of this down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and as always, say no to grooming kids.